If you use Canvas LMS for your courses and you're looking for a way to have students be able to sign up for appointments with you, then I'm gonna show you an easy way to do that. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you get notified every single week when I release a new video all about online education. Hi, I'm Ashley Espinosa and I have an MFA musical theater. I've been teaching with Canvas for over like seven years now at the college and university level. And I'm really excited to start offering you ideas and ways that you can connect and communicate with your students in a really quick, easy format. And it, it will really alleviate a lot of the frustration and take out some of that friction that we see quite often in online teaching. And here's one of the ways that you might wanna try out. So we're gonna jump right in now to my computer over here. And this is actually something I'm, I'm doing right now for a university that I, that I teach at. And this is a great way to create an idea for students to be able to sign up for virtual appointments with you on your calendar here, rather than going back and forth with an email. And this could be for many, many different reasons. Maybe it's for you know student one-on-one, student conferences, evaluations, um, you're having time for your TA to work with you, um, your office hours, that's really what I'm gonna use it a lot for. Whatever it is, this is an easy way to do it in Canvas. And it's kind of an all-in-one, so let me show you how I'm doing it. First thing is we're in um, Canvas here. We're gonna tick over to the calendar and then we're gonna go up to the top right-hand corner where we see this plus sign and we're gonna add create a new event. And then you can also, if you, if you haven't used the calendar before, I highly suggest it. It's extremely helpful if you really do everything in Canvas, but we're gonna toggle over to the appointment group side. So now one thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we're setting this up specific for a course or for all courses, we're going to really get detailed with this. I like to do this before every single semester. So it's kind of all batched, all bulked and all set up. So let's, for example, let's name this one. I'm actually going to name this one, my office hours here. You can see I've done that before. This could be for anything. Maybe it's um, a group project where you want them one week as a group project and you want that group to meet with you. Um, whatever it is, we're gonna give it a name here. This is gonna be my office hours. Okay, location. Now I am going to use Zoom because I still work virtually and my office hours are virtual. This may be something where if you don't wanna do Zoom, you may want to put your office location um, or you may want to say Zoom or Office and let them kind of select the option. But I would say just give it to them either Zoom or the location of where you're going to meet. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is select calendars down here. So let's say you have multiple courses at this university, I just teach one course right now. You can select either one course for this to all be on or it could be on all of your courses. For example, for my office hours, wherever I am, it's pretty much all the same courses. So I'm gonna tick all the boxes if I had any, click done. Okay, after I do that, down below you are gonna see have students sign up in groups. This would be if you're using this for like a group project or where there's more than just, it's a one, more than just one-on-one -on -one with a student. Let's go over here to the right side next. Now we're gonna pick dates. I will tell you the only downside of this, and you know I'm always going to be honest with you, is that you can't do reoccurring and you can't do, you can't populate it like you would in like, like um, Outlook or like in um, Google, where you could say every Tuesday from four to five is my office hours. So you have to do put it in singly. So just something to think about, but let's pick some dates here. So for example, I'm gonna go in and I'm creating my office hours for every week for this, uh, for this course. And I'm gonna say my office hours are going to be every Thursday. So this is the first start date of this course because we're on the quarter system. So I'm gonna pick that Thursday and then I'm gonna put the time in here and I'm going to have it be 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. I'm gonna do an hour, um, actually, sorry, I should put the time next, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Okay, so that's what I want. Uh, do I need to, I bet it, it's gonna make me put zero, zero. So let's put it down here as well, zero, zero, and 11, zero, zero. Okay, so 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Now I am going to have to, again, because it's not recurring, I'm gonna to have to go through and pick every single one. So let me go through and pick all of those right now and at the same time. Okay, that took a good, I don't know, maybe five minutes to put that all in, but it's gonna be so amazing to have this done for the rest of the semester. 
doing two things at once in this video today. <laughs> all right, so the next thing we're going to do is I've got all the dates and the time ranges in here that I wanna have my office hours. Next thing I wanna do is we want to divide into equal time slots. Now, depending on if you wanna have you know, them to sign up for a 10 minute slot or a 15 minute slot or whatever time amount that it's going to be, you would put that in here as well. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do 15 minutes because I think that's perfect for a, like a one-on-one -on -one meeting. And then on the right, we wanna click go. After we click go, shaboom, it is then automatic, automatically going to break those dates up into 15 minute time slots. So now they're all time slots. Don't, don't, don't X them out, don't touch them, don't do anything. Let's go down here and finish this up. Okay, options, you can limit each time slot to one person. If it, this is a one-on-one, -on -one, I would definitely suggest that. If it's a group, then how many people are in that group for that you know, particular assignment or that meeting? But I'm gonna do one because this is just my office hours. Okay, and now if you can also tick this box for allow students to see who has signed up for time slots that are still available if you're doing group appointments and meetings. That means if you're doing a group meeting and, and you know the same five people wanna see if somebody in their group has already signed up for a time so they can sign up for that same time, you'll wanna tick that box. Okay, next thing down here, here's the special part. I'm trying to, to take out the friction with my students and because I'm working with them in a virtual spot, we're gonna meet on Zoom. I would go into my Zoom link and I would copy and paste that in here so it's exactly like it is. And actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because why not? Hold on, stand by, let me do that really quickly. So if you're confused about how to do this, just while I'm here, I'm doing it at the same time, um, go to your Zoom account. I opened my Zoom up. This is like the actual Zoom app that you're seeing down here on my desktop right over here. Okay, and then personal meeting ID, all right? I just click on copy invitation. So let me drop that. We copied that to the clipboard. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in here and we're going to drop that Zoom link in there. So edit, paste, okay? Now that Zoom link is in there. Above that Zoom link, I am going to type something to them because this is auto going to send to all of them when they sign up. So I'm gonna say, can't wait. I'm navigating microphone cords over here. <laughs> can't wait to, can't wait to meet with you via Zoom, okay? And you can write anything else in there. So if you were doing this for a particular assignment, you could say, don't forget to bring your notes, don't forget to bring your, your project or your outline or whatever it is, and um, you could include that as well, okay? If it's audio only, maybe you wanna include audio only in there as well. So after we do that, I am then going to click publish on the bottom right-hand corner, and stand by, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the other side for the student as well. Okay, now what we're gonna do is if I toggle over to that time and we go to September, here we go. So there, office hours, office hours. It automatically, my calendar puts all of those from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. All of those time slots are in here for the rest of the semester. Now, this is what the student is going to see on the other side. Let me know down in the comments below if you are going to use this and try it out in your course this, this semester and how you're going to use it. Let me know down in the comments below. But now I wanna show you what it looks like from the student side as well. So let me go into a course and let me go from a student view. Okay, so now we're in a student view, all right? So you just go into your student view and then click on the calendar from the student view. So you'd see their example calendar. On the right-hand side, this would be their name, okay? And then they're gonna see this course. So after we click on the course, we're gonna then navigate to find appointment. When we click on find appointment, that's the course I wanna find the appointment before, so your course. And when you click that, okay, we're then going to see the next available appointment for this course is on September 30th, okay? But we're also going to be able to see, you can notice here on their schedule for the test student, these are all of my office hours, but they'll be able to select that time and click sign up. And after they do sign up for that time, then on their end, they're going to get notified. What's really great about it, and I wish I could show you, but I, it won't allow me to do it on this one, but after they sign up for the time, it's then going to post it on your site and say that that one is not available. 
And then it's also going to allow you to message them if they if you need to cancel it or if they need to cancel it. You can send them a message, say, hey, see you tomorrow. You're gonna have all of that back on your side. It'll block it out from your calendar and it will tell you who it is and, and the name, and then you'll be able to communicate with them. So hopefully that is helpful for you. I would suggest creating a tutorial for your students to show them how to navigate to it, how to create the select appointment, how to do it so they have an idea of how to schedule that with you and just put that inside your Canvas course as well. If you need more help with Canvas, be sure to check out this playlist next my canvas tutorials series that i have for you and as always don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any more of my weekly episodes all about online education happy teaching thanks so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye